Hello YouTube, this is Dynamic FA. Today I'm going to show you how to move a uh, solid. Let's have a look at the Robo Studio. Okay, so we already have learned how to create solid. Today uh, I'm going to make a, a solid first. Okay, let's see. Okay, solid, create, okay, I'm going to create a box uh, starting from, corner point starting from 0, 0, 0, 0 and length uh, 200 and width 100, height 50. Okay, create. Okay, now I'm going to rename it. This is a uh, product. And then today we are going to make some kind of uh, uh, moving function. And the smart component is the best way you can create something like a moving or any simulation so click smart component and then what you need to do here so first thing I'm going to rename uh, conveyor or like or maybe uh, mover okay and then the first thing you need to do uh, put the product into the mover okay and then uh, you need to design ah sorry not design add component then you can see manipulator and line mover okay we have added line mover into the uh, smart component Okay, then we see the design here. So design like this and you need to choose object. If you click object, this is the line mover. Once you click this side, then property will pop up here on your left hand side. And then you can choose uh, product and then You can set the speed. This this speed uh, ten millimeter per second, but this relate not actually ten millimeter per second. This is really rely on computer performance. So uh, if you have a higher laptop, then you can actual moving is faster than. 10 milliseconds so this is a uh, uh, I will maybe uh, later I will show you how to set up like a synchronize with the actual time anyway today it's, uh, I'm just gonna set uh, 10 millimeter per second and then I'm happy to apply this is done so simple so now we can see how it moves. This one, you go to simulation and play. Then now if you execute, click this one, then it will start moving. Let's see. If you click one more time, then turn it to zero and then it stop. This one here, uh, last uh, last time I in the uh, last video I show you the uh, the red color is x direction, so that's why this one is here thousand. This is 
showing direction from the 0, 0, 0. Start from here to 1000. About, uh, I'm not sure what's the size of grid, but this, this direction anyway. So if we change this one to 0, and then we change it to 1000, then we will see which way the product goes. Apply and execute. Oh, sorry. Maybe this one is already applied. Okay, so we need to stop. And then this one is gone to already probably more than three meters. So I don't want that uh, the product starting from here. Then you press the reset. Then it will go back to always uh, uh, zero position. Uh, origin position. Reset. Okay, back to here. And then this is a, uh, this set you can set before you start the simulation. So here I can make it zero. And then this one is uh, incorrect data. So uh, direction have to be, one of them ha should have a value. So I can put 1000 and apply. Now it's ready. And then we play and then execute. So this one goes plus y direction. And then even surely we can choose two axes. Uh, apply and reset. Okay, and play. Then execute. So this is uh, how you can move the move parts inside the uh, logo studio. So hopefully it will be very helpful to you on your logo studio project as well. Next time I will make it a little bit upgrade and then we actually create source and then make it move and stop. Like we, we can generate many parts as we want with the signal. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.